What's going on, guys? It's Dan the Man, a.k.a. Daniel's son. And by request, I was able to check out The Bike Riders. Uh, this one is starring Austin Butler from Elvis fame. Uh, also, Tom Hardy, Jody Kramer. It's a lot of it's a star studded cast like a lot of these kind of pieces seem to be. This film, uh, a non-spoiler review, of course, uh, I went into this not knowing a lot about what this movie might be, how the narrative would go about. I did get some little info from, uh, of course, the Chase Man, Chase, about how kind of the structure is, how it's kind of a tell of telling of the story instead of like just going along with the flow kind of thing going on. Of course, I wanted to check it out because I do love Sons of Anarchy. I do like, I've watched so many crime uh, thrillers. I've seen so many uh, crime documentaries. I've known about Hell's Angels. I like, I, I want to say I like the, um, the kind of craziness that goes along with biker gangs and stuff, but it's a fascinating, interesting culture. And it's a culture that I don't know crazy amount detail by detail of it. Uh, Sons of Anarchy is just a show by all means. Uh, Hell's Angel is is the real thing. So there's a lot of rules. There's a lot of the golden age. There's a lot of what's happening today when it comes to motorcycle clubs. Going into the bike riders, you know, you had what Easy Rider. You've had a lot of these classic uh, motorcycle films or at least uh, clubs that are portrayed in these films. So I wanted to jump into this one, not really knowing too much. And uh, of course, I wanted to see how the cast does because I love Tom Hardy. I love Austin Butler. Uh, so uh, uh, and uh, Jody Kramer, I can't remember too much of what she was in, but she was really solid in this film. I think a lot of the acting in here uh, is good. Uh, I think uh, well, I believe that's a uh, was a Boyd Holbrook from uh, Narcos fame and from uh, Logan kills it I, I love that actor he he does such a subtle performance in here but it's everything he's such a side character but he's doing a fantastic job of what he's given so shout outs to him I think he was the one big standout uh, along with uh, Jody as Kathy in this film Tom Hardy does Tom Hardy things <laughs> <laughs> he does Tom Hardy voices. He has his own little way of doing it. I, I'm pretty sure he shows up at the set and they just let him do what he needs to do to whatever this character is written in the script. He kind of does it his own little way. He's such a presence, man. Uh, Tom Hardy, I've seen so many of his films already and he has a range. He has such a range of how he kind of comes out with his performances. But this one is kind of lackluster to me. Uh, yes, Jimmy seems to be the one character you kind of hold on to in this film, but it's still lackluster. It's still there's still no spice to it in this film. There was he Tom Hardy is kind of in this film the majority of the time. You would think Austin Butler is, but that's not the case. Austin Bus Butler is actually to me he's not the main character. He's the he's the uh, he's a secondary character. He's the guy. He's the uh, what do you call it? He's not the he's not the main guy in this. He's just kind of there. Uh, he's part of the bigger story, I guess you could say. But Austin Butler is really like not utilized in this film as much as I thought he was going to be. It's really kind of Tom Hardy. But when Tom Hardy's there, he's sitting most of the time. He's grunty most of the time. So that kind of took me out of the film. There is some moments in the film though that's interesting but that's where the film kind of loses me it's just always just interesting there's nothing that it gets developed that is exciting <laughs> you know there's there's not there's this film kind of wanders around there's really no goal there's really no uh drama as you like hyperized drama there's some drama in the film but Nothing that really kind of sticks into your mind. It feels like you're kind of just going along with the ride, pun in intended, uh, with these guys. But even when you kind of know these guys and get to know these guys and their characters and their feelings and uh, how they are with one, e one uh, another, I think the direction kind of really gets lost. It feels like this director saw was trying to do somewhat of a Goodfellas or Mar Martin Scorsese film mixed with like The Outsiders but it just doesn't deliver it's it's really kind of aimless it's really kind of boring and you never want your movie to be boring 
And yes, there's elements in here that's not boring, but you kind of, when you're starting to feel the length and you're starting to feel the time and you're kind of not too attached with a lot of these characters, then you're really, you're losing me here. Uh, was it a horrendous watch? Of course not. Is it a movie you're going to watch again? I don't think so. I don't think this is a film that you can go back and be like fond memories to. And that's a damn shame because I did really want to like this film. But overall, I didn't really care for the film. And that's the biggest sin possible. Yes, it's cool to be in this culture. Uh, it's cool to see these actors being kind of this outlaw, outlaw kind of, and how it kind of all came to be. I think that was the one great aspect of the film was how Tom Hardy's character, Jimmy, starts off this club. It starts, and I think that was the big draw into this film where I was, my attention was there because I wanted to know how this club started. I wanted to know who's the founding members. But as we keep going along, I kind of think to myself, well, why didn't they introduce this one element into the film that obviously was going to tear Jimmy apart and was going to tear this club apart. Why didn't they introduce this kid's story into the middle of this story? And then I think we could have got more, a little bit more uh, drama into it, a little bit more of stakes going up high. But no, we kind of saved that till the very end, which I didn't necessarily, I didn't, I, I knew it was coming a mile away and it's very predictable. But, I mean, it still gave me an oh shit kind of moment of the ending of this film. But still, the biggest issue is Austin Butler's character, who they made to seem like this badass, this, this quiet kind of guy. Maybe misunderstood. I could say misunderstood because I think Kathy kind of knew more. Her character knew kind of the the real person that Benny is. But we don't really see that in the film. We see more of him just being stoic, quiet uh getting into trouble but there is no back and forth that i wanted between benny and kathy's character and there is no kind of the, the chemistry between those two is kind of non-existent i didn't feel it in this film whatsoever this film is kind of frustrating in some aspect because i think there is something here but that's just overall the the kind of structure of the film it's not necessarily the execution of the film that i see that could have been amazing i think the idea of the film the idea of actually having you know uh showcasing the beginning of a bike club the uh, eventual changes to it towards the end but and then like kind of following a lot of these characters the idea of it sounds very very like a good film is right there but watching the film, it really just doesn't do anything for me. It's just kind of eh. <laughs> I know it's not a great response, but it is. It's it's eh. I saw it. I didn't hate it. it you know, I saw some, this this thing happen coming from a mile away. I think structure wise, script wise, they could have done a little bit something different. They put all their eggs in the basket of the. Um, the Benny character, which I think kind of goes nowhere. And because they did that, they couldn't really rewrite this script. So I don't know if this is based off the book. I don't know what what kind of uh, the backstory of this thing. I kind of, like I said, just went in to kind of cold. And to me, this is kind of a pass, guys. I don't think you should waste your money and watch this at the movie theater unless you're going on those Tuesdays at Regal. I honestly think you should just wait until it's streaming but even then if you're watching this in a streaming platform i think you get bored very easily and you kind of lose interest or it takes you a couple days to actually just finish the film if you're a busy person so i will say though if you're if you're bored tuesday half off tickets at regal cinemas you have a, a regal card go you know there's nothing else to do in the summer right <laughs> other than go to the beach try not to melt they have great air conditioning at the movie theater. So I guess just let me know your guys' thoughts on this film because to me, it was an okay film. And what kind of character stuck to you? That's what the one question I present to you guys. So thank you guys for listening. I'm Danny Mackey, Daniel Sun. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment below. I have tons of videos on the way and I have tons of videos that are from the past if you want to go check out. So like I always say, grab a tick, grab a seat. Make sure you got some good popcorn to eat. I'll see you at the cinema, guys. Bye.